disconnect the negative battery terminal. And I'll show you in a little bit why. With an eight millimeter wrench, just take this bolt out and remove the terminal, set it to the side. That, may, that way it doesn't make contact. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put the uh, bolt back so I don't lose it. So this is why we disconnected the battery because we have to pull the starter out and I'm not gonna disconnect the wires off of it, but pulling it back might potentially cause it to make contact to the positive with any uh, metal which is grounded. So that's why I disconnected the battery. And then with two 13 millimeter bolts, we can unbolt the uh, starter. There's one. And here's the second one. Pull this straight out. And just set it to the side up here, just like that. Let's unplug it, pull back on this connector and set it to the side. And then with a 10 millimeter socket, let's remove the mounting bolt, break this free. There it is. I'm gonna grab this with some pliers gently and uh, just try to give it a little twist to break it free. Sometimes these get stuck in here. There we go. So the pliers did their thing, broke this free. Now I'm just gonna very slowly work it back and forth and uh, hopefully dislodge it from the engine block. Before I go any further, I'm just gonna spray a little bit of uh, brake parts cleaner around the sensor and get some of that debris off so that it doesn't get into the engine once the sensor is off. I'm going to use a pry bar and very, very gently try to uh, put some outward force on this. There we go. It's starting to move. There it is. Popped out. There's your crank position sensor. I'm gonna stick a finger with a rag in here and very, very gently kind of clean out the edge of this hole here where the sensor mounts. It's just that I don't want debris to be pushed in when I reinstall the sensor. So that's why I'm doing this. And that's also why I cleaned prior to hopefully eliminate as much as possible before it even comes out. All right, so that looks pretty good if you want to. And you could put a little bit of engine oil on this. That should help it slide in a little bit easier. And after you've done that, line it up. And push it through all the way. This is where the engine oil would come in handy because it will help that gasket slide in. Perfect. And now we can put the bolt in. Thread that on all the way. We'll bottom it out and make sure it's nice and snug. And if you wish to torque it, 18 foot-pounds is the torque for this bolt. Right there. Let's plug the sensor back in. Okay, make sure the connector clicks in there and is secured. Grab your starter and line it up with its uh, location. Slide it through. Once it's in here, start in the two bolts. I put some anti-seize on the shank of the bolts. That way, hopefully, it keeps rust away from that area. Go ahead and start those in. Thirty-seven foot-pounds for both of these bolts. Now let's reconnect the battery. Take this bolt out and make sure that your connection is clean, the terminal is clean, which it is. If not, go ahead and sand it down or use a wire brush. Reconnect it and then snug this down. Okay, make sure that's nice and tight. 